let's take a look at the anatomy of a chatbot inside Xenio, which I'll summarize is composed of several layers. The largest one is the behavior, which contains several interactions, which contain actions. Now it's time to see how Xenia works. When a user logs into the chatbot for the first time, the chatbot will send the same behavior, which is called start behavior. Let's see here an example. If I go and check the properties of a behavior, as you see here, you have the option to set it as a start behavior. Then we have the start interaction. So at the interaction level that I just clicked on and I'm highlighting here, we can decide what will be the first interaction that will be sent to the user once it goes into this specific behavior. You can recognize it very simply because it's marked with this little rectangle that says start interaction. If you want, let's say, instead of starting from there, start from here, no problem. Go and select the interaction you want to use by ticking this start interaction flag and go to save. I currently have no interest in doing this, so I reset the situation as before. There's one last type of interaction that we haven't seen yet, which is called the fallback interaction. As you can see, also this one is marked with a little rectangle this time with an orange background. And this one is automatically created by Xenio for each behavior. That's the interaction that will be sent to the user when the chatbot inside this behavior don't understand the expression from the users. Now let's see how Xenio performs the various actions and operations. We are going to look at them on multiple levels. At the interaction level, as you can see here, we have several actions, one below each other. This is a text action, this is another text action, and this is a button action. The order in which the actions are performed is simply from top to bottom. As soon as a user enters into this behavior, that start interaction is triggered. That will render this text action this text action and will then go on to display these two buttons. At the behavior level, likewise, we can set up operations. That is, we can say to Xenio, regardless of the interaction the user is in, regardless of where the user is, I want this specific thing to happen at the behavior level. So at the general level, not based on the point, the interaction reached by the user. Well, you can do that uh, very simply by going to click either on the background, on the flow designer, or on this gear icon, which allows you to access the properties of the behavior itself. So you see that below, for example, we've set up an action like this. When the user types the expression menu, this specific operation will be performed. So we send the user to a specific interaction within the behavior itself. Let's go up to another level. It's also possible to set action at the chatbot level. So regardless of the interaction and regardless of the behavior that the user is in, by clicking here on the icon with the pencil, we can access global operation at the chatbot level. So we can go to intercept the expression written by the users and wherever the user is, we can trigger some logic and operation related. This operation will be executed regardless of wherever the user is. At this point, we are going to preview our chatbot. If you go here and click preview your bot and click start preview, you see that it simulated what the user will see. Text another text and two buttons. These are the actions sent by the start interaction, so the one that is executed at the launch of the behavior itself, do you remember? And now I can press one of the two buttons. I go for example and click the second option, buttons. In this case I click this button that caused the sending of this new interaction composed of text message and image. 
Now let's go on to check what happened. We can do this with the execution diagram, which you can access by clicking this button at the top right. As you can see here, all the instructions, all the tasks, the things that Xenio has done since we launched the preview onwards. So we see that some text was displayed, some more text, the two buttons. We see that the user interacted with one element. We see which element, then uh, the second one, was triggered, the second option, the second button, uh, which caused as a consequence the operation of send a new interaction to the user. So the interaction that is sent is the one containing the text and the image, as you can see. So text and image. This roughly is how Xenia works. So given its various layers, you can handle the starting behavior, the starting direction, the fallback interaction. Then we saw the actions and the operation at the interaction, behavior and bot levels. We launched the preview and finally deepened with the execution diagram and uh, we saw what happens so we can make some debug and go and find out the values that our conversation with the user takes. In the next video, we'll talk about the publishing process.